Leading things off, we are going live down to Murrieta Valley High School with the Bachmeyer boys. Tiger and Bear Bachmeyer standing by live. And guys, it, it sounds like, I don't, I don't know, is it the band out there practicing? Is the band getting ready uh, for their next performance? Yeah, it's funny because they, uh, they, they practice right after we get off the field. Um, and then it's almost like we see them when we, when we wake up in the morning and get to school. Um, I'm, I, they might practice more than us. Yeah. So I'm not saying something. <laughs> Tiger, that's what I was going to say. Maybe they practice more than the football team. If they're there when you get to school and they're there when you leave, they just practice all the time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, obviously, you guys are practicing, too, because you guys are having a great season. You've won some big games, including San Clemente last week. Uh, I'll go over to Bear right now, the quarterback of the Nighthawks. Bear, you know, through the first five games of the season, what are you guys doing well offensively right now? Um, yeah, I think just our execution. Uh, well, first, our preparation for the game. And then just on Friday nights, our execution, uh, I think it, uh, shows in, in our in our record and uh, how many points we're putting up. So, yeah. Now, Bear, you got Tiger over there, and he's, you know, an all-state, all-universe receiver, so he makes your job probably a little bit easier playing quarterback. But, Bear, what do you think makes Tiger a great receiver? Um, yeah, I think it's uh, his intelligence and uh, just knowing uh, certain, certain releases and uh, just the, uh, voids in the defense. And we kind of have, like, that same connection of just seeing what, what we want to do and, um, you know, relaying it to our OC and just uh, getting good plays, good explosive plays uh, to score some points. So, All right, Tiger. Bear was just so complimentary of you. Now let's brag about him. What makes Bear, as only a sophomore, such a great varsity quarterback for the Nighthawks? Uh, I mean, starting off with what he can do physically. I mean, all his rushing yards. Uh, one game against King before the half. Um, I think we were on like the 42, 43, and um, made a one foot off a of one foot a Hail Mary throw into the end zone. Uh, and our, that's a 50, 60 yard throw um, and in the, in the game. So that's what the kind of arm talent he has makes his throws. And um, all of our offense is based off of reads and, uh, and he's making good decisions with the ball. Uh, and that's, that's, that's probably the biggest, biggest, factor in playing varsity football is making those smart decisions. Uh, and that's, yeah, that's what he does. Now, Bear, obviously, both your guys' older brother, obviously, Hank, Marietta Valley legend. Does he give you any advice playing that position, Bear? Like, I mean, does he, you know, call you up on Saturday morning and say, hey, Bear, I would have done this or good job or, or, you know, just gives you tips on how to improve? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, he's even talking to ROC, giving us uh, some of his plays to implement in our offense, just trying to make us better. I mean, he always talks about how proud of uh, him, uh, or how proud he is of us and we're how, how proud of, uh, we are of him. And uh, so he's definitely always helped me every time he comes down, uh, just helped me on my, my general mechanics as well. So yeah, he's awesome. Now, I, I feel like quarterbacking must run in the family. Tiger, did you, did you ever play quarterback? I mean, even when you're just a little guy, like, did you ever play signal caller? Yeah. So really up until, up until, um, up, until the year I was going into high school, I was always backup quarterback. Um, something, something or other um, always happened where I ended up being backup and then um, where I'd be primary receiver. Uh, I don't know if you remember AJ Duffy. Yeah. He was, uh, his dad was a play caller here and I just ended up, he ended up being a quarterback <laughs> and I ended up being a receiver for him. So, well, uh, he was pretty, was, he, he turned out to be pretty good. I mean, he's at Florida State right now. He turned out to be pretty good. Yeah. yeah so, <laughs> Uh, I just want, wanted my kind of my talent as a quarterback just a little bit less than AJ. <laughs> <laughs> you were right there. If he wasn't there, it, it, you were going to be the guy. But obviously you found a, a great fit playing receiver for the Nighthawks. And Marietta Valley's had some great wide receivers. Um, you know, what's it like playing for, for head coach George Wilson and having Bear at quarterback? Because I, I just feel like this offense has really found its footing. I got to give a shout out to Aza Chapman, too, because you guys are like the big three. You know, you got to have a great quarterback, a receiver, and a running back. But what do you think is making this offense, Tiger, what do you think is making this offense click right Right now yeah so uh we've always uh known past past however long it's been since coach george has been here uh if you ask any of the players who have graduated it all sounds like we're on the team at the ex exact same time uh, it's the same intentions and 
you know, getting ready for the games and all the routines we do, it's been, it's been the same and we've had the same, same kind of success. And so it's really the little things that we're paying attention to. And that's, that's really what I find, uh, makes, makes the most, uh, makes the biggest difference, mm -hmm. uh, between those really big offensive years we've had and then the okay offensive years we've had. So let me ask you guys about, you know, off the field. Do you guys go home and, and talk football or you're, you're sitting there eating dinner and, I don't know, Bear's drawing plays on his napkin and showing it to Tiger and say, hey, we should run this next week. I mean, or do you guys try to shut it down? It's like, hey, what do you got for homework? Do you need any help with your math? Uh, is, is your lunch packed for tomorrow? Like, or do you guys try to leave football on the field or is it, is it impossible not to bring it home? Uh, it's... I'd say it's probably impossible to not mention football. Uh, you know, I remember a play in the Apple Valley game. Uh, we were we were laying in bed, and then uh, he, uh, bear in the bed next to me, was like, "You know, I'll probably I'll probably end up pitching it to you on the on the um, on the triple triple option uh, play we have, and we ended up scoring on it in the Apple Valley game. And so a few days earlier, we had that conversation. So just that kind of random stuff." Uh, in the middle of the night or something like that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's kind of comes down to the bonding thing and we don't, that's where fo football is, doesn't really fall into our lives if we, I mean, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I do. And, and Bear, is it for the same thing for you? Like, obviously you guys love football, so you're probably, I'm always thinking about it and it's hard to shut it off. But, you know, when you get home, you're like, okay, what do I have in geometry? What do I, what do I got to get done tonight? I got a test coming up on Thursday. Do you have to at some point, you know, say, okay, Tiger, enough, uh, enough with the triple play option stuff. We, we got a, we got, I got a geometry test I got to study for. Do you, do you try to separate it a little bit? Cause I'm, I'm sure you guys are both great students. You're probably taking tough classes and all that. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> We're so dialed in. Uh, I mean, it's football season, it's football year, you know? Um, but I guess when we do get home, we got to settle it down. You know, we both play guitar. So, uh, just, uh, just go free, just jam on the guitar. Uh, and then obviously being a student athlete, you know, um, so ha having school be first always. Um, and so just, yeah, just taking time off and, you know, football, football's cool and all, and it's, it's fun, but just having fun and, and being a teenager, I guess sometimes. Uh, yeah. And on, I mean, on top of that, uh, bear kind of on the same academic path as me, so he's taking a lot of the same classes, the same teachers, and uh, I'm just giving him little tips like, uh, like go to go to Miss Inway's office office hours, and she'll she'll love you as a student and stuff like that. I think that's fun. Yeah, make sure you keep those grades up right. And if you need extra help or some tutoring on something that you don't understand, Tiger's already done it. Bears, Bears, you know, benefit from uh, from that. But I got to go back. Listen, I got to go back to the guitar thing. You guys both play the guitar. How did you guys first start? How did you pick up that instrument? <laughs> yeah, so uh, my great uncle, he lives out in Minnesota, and he came down one uh, one year, brought us a guitar. Um, and it kind of sat, kind of sat for a little bit, um, and then he came down again, and he started playing for it, playing it, and I got really interested. So I started to pick it up, and we've gone out there the past six, past the past six um, to our uncle Donald's out in in Minnesota, um, and his his son plays actually. Uh, he's the he's James the third. I'm James the fourth um, as a re as my real name. Uh, but they both played and they're great entertainers. And it was kind of a cool skill that I wanted to learn. So I started to learn first. And, um, and I think three or four years later, Bear, uh, Bear can tell you a story about. Yeah, I just uh, after Tiger learned first initially, and then uh, and then I picked it up uh, probably like two years later. But uh, we just jam at our house. It's yeah, so it's pretty fun. So. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, the, I mean, the, the Bachmeyer band. I mean, do you drive your family crazy? Like, hey, you know, like, you know, playing your guitars. It's loud. It's late at night. I don't know, but um, you know, do your parents, your family, enjoy it, or is anyone else playing an instrument in your family? Uh, yeah. So my little my little brother plays uh, plays a saxophone, and my grandma my grandma bought everyone harmonicas. So that's it's fun. It's pretty loud and. Uh, <laughs> You know, my, my parents are really supportive of it, of uh, of the noise, I guess, um, because it'd probably be us us playing. Uh, I mean, we still we still end up in the hallway playing playing football and knocking pictures down, <laughs> like that, playing football. So 
I mean, I guess you got to choose your poison. Yeah, so so whether you're playing football in the house or playing really loud music, either way, your your parents are probably just always yelling at you, <laughs> say, "Hey, c- calm it down." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guys, let me ask you this. Um, you know, again, going back to the instrument thing, like it sounds like you guys are just well-rounded, you, you, you know, musically, in the classroom, on the football field. It just sounds like you guys have a lot of interest. Is that, is that fair to say? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, it's fair to say. Um, I think it's just it comes down to uh, our parents and how they raised us and uh, looking uh, up at our older siblings, Hank, Hank and Ella, and just watching um, – you know how they acted and uh you know what they did kind of us just kind of blindly copying like our older siblings and what they did and uh, i mean tiger's my older brother too so i kind of i'm uh do the same same things he he does as well so i am curious though what kind of music would you guys play i mean uh you know do you, do you cover songs like oh i like that song i'm gonna learn how to play it like what do you guys play yeah so yeah. our um our uh Uncle from Minnesota loves country music, so we play a lot of country music um, and well, some soul and R&B, R&B. And actually, we started uh, wrote a song about about our uh, just about our time in Minnesota and um, our family. So we wrote one or two songs together. Oh my gosh, so. that's amazing! I wish I would have known this. I would have had you guys with your guitars on the show, so you could jam out for for everybody on the Inland Sports Show. That's amazing. That would have been awesome. Next time, I'm going to hold you to that next time. Guys, uh, before we go, last question, because i got to run here. But, man, we didn't even get to the Roosevelt game. It's like the biggest game of the week, man. Big West uh, play starting this week. So excited for the Nighthawks taking on Roosevelt uh, on Friday night. Guys, what do you think, and both of you can answer this, and I'll I'll start with Tiger. Um, What do you think are the keys to victory on Friday night, Tiger? What do you guys have to do well against a very good Roosevelt team to get that win? Uh, Simple special teams. Uh, Got to make – all of our plays, uh, our special teams has to set us up on offense and defense. Uh, you know, go down, kick the ball, pin them deep, uh, make our make our field goals, and uh, you know, don't punt. <laughs> sadly, <laughs> sadly for our punter, but don't punt. And how about you, Bear? Uh, yeah, just playing good complementary football uh, on all all three sides, I guess, uh, of the football. Uh, I mean, the defense really stepped up big against San Clemente last week, so hopefully we can uh, thrive thrive off their performance. Uh, and then our line, our line is incredible, just getting so much movement up front. Hopefully we can keep pounding the rock uh, and uh, just make plays on the perimeter as well. So, Yeah, it's going to be a great game. Everyone's fired up about it. Um, Roosevelt, Marietta Valley to kick things off in the Big West. The Bachmeyer boys, everybody, Bear and Tiger, joining us live from Marietta Valley High School. Guys, listen, that was so much fun. And, and again, I hope we can do this again, maybe on the eve of like a, a CIF championship game week or something for you guys. Hopefully you get that far. But I'd love to have you on with the guitars. You can jam out a little bit. I think everyone, everyone would just love that. Yeah, definitely. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make note of it. I'm going to write that down. I will not forget. Guys, you were the best, man. I really enjoyed that. Please tell Coach Wilson I said thank you for, uh, for making this happen. I really do appreciate it. And best of luck on Friday night, guys. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Actually, well, actually, uh, we started uh, an acapella group, and it's pretty much all football. Fo- all football guys. We sang the national anthem for, uh, for, our, uh, for our school, and we've done, like, Valentine's Day grams, singing grams. Are uh, you serious? All, all, all football players. I'm not that you're interested. In all football players. So Tiger, so cool. I, I'm going to hit you up. I want to make that happen so bad. Either you know during the season or even if it's after the season, I'd love to get you guys on the show and you know it would be a musical edition of uh, Marietta Valley football. That would be awesome, man. I, I had no idea. That's so cool. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Listen, you guys are the best. That's Tiger and Bear Bachmeyer from Murrieta Valley here live on the Inland Sports Show. Thanks again, guys. Really appreciate your time.